Hey guys, so I am recording on my phone and I just wanted to give you an update on life and everything that is kind of sort of going on right now. Um, yeah, so there's, there's some insanity happening. So a lot of the videos and things that I had planned are going to be a little postponed right now. Um, yeah. Uh, there's tragedy, let me tell you. Okay, so basically, on my birthday, which was about three weeks ago, um, the place that I was living in, which is, it was an apartment, I was renting a room from a friend, and the apartment caught fire. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, so we lost a lot of stuff. Um, at first it was pretty much everything because they weren't allowing us to go inside or anything. And then eventually the landlord actually did let us go inside. So I was able to get my clothes. Uh, they smelled really bad like fire and water and foamy weird chemical things. But after washing them a few times, some of the smell has come out of some of them. And yeah, it's just, it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> so I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life after that. Um, but lots of uh, good things happened. Some crazy things have happened. Uh, life's totally and completely changed, which is, I mean, like thinking back on it and just thinking about like just where... I currently am and where I'm going and what's going on it's just I, I can't even put into words um, I'm very grateful because so many people have helped and I think for me that was a very I don't want to say unexpected but I mean it kind of was I don't know. I guess I kind of realized how much I'm loved and it's just, it's, it's an overwhelming feeling, especially because it's like, it took tragedy for me to realize that. Anyway, so, uh, life's getting a little better. Things are kind of falling into, I mean, it had to mess up a lot in order to kind of fall into place. Um, I did continue on with my RDIEF program and believe it or not, Loma Linda, I mean, I, I cannot thank the program enough for something that they did for me. And it's just, again, it's over, eh, it's overwhelming with like emotion because it's like, I can't, I can't even begin to explain how grateful I am. Like, it, 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 and it's funny because I feel like so many people, like, they want to talk about it and they want to ask about it. And part of me is like, I don't, it's not that I don't want to talk about it. It's just that when I do, it's like reliving it. And it's, if it, it, it was really, really hard for me, <laughs> honestly, whenever it happened, because it was like, finally life was coming together. And then all of a sudden everything kind of literally crashed and burned you know what I mean and it was like okay now what am I gonna do and I didn't really know what to do and I sat here and had to come up with a plan and I was like you know what this time I'm gonna do it correctly I'm gonna do it the way that I want to do it and I'm just gonna figure it out and then I thought for sure I was probably gonna have to quit school and that's kind of coming together so I don't even have to do that so it's just it's it's crazy to me to think like you know what I mean like how things are kind of working out and I can't I don't know and then it's funny because I didn't have a place to stay I stayed with my mom for like uh we went well we were there whenever we found out and then I stayed there for a little bit and then I went up to my friend Sylvia's house and then after that well, you guys all know Sylvia if you watch anything on my channel here. But after that, we went to, I think we went back to my mom's for like a week or so. And then uh, I took some time and I went up to to Sylvia's again just to spend some 
some time by myself and to sit here and come up with a plan. So anyway, I kind of have a plan now and I'm hoping that it will somehow work out um, at the moment. Again, I said I'm still in school. Um, I did decide that I'm going to try and get an apartment on my own, probably with my mom as a co-signer, hopefully. Knock on wood, knock on fingers, I, I, I just... Um, but it's gonna be a work in progress. Um, it did backstep me a little bit like on financial stuff, but I thought about it and I was like, okay, the first thing that I need to do is I need to get some type of a job where I have a steady income. Um, I do work, I, I work as a temp dental assistant. I did it that way, be, or I stayed that way just because I really enjoy doing that. Um, but I did actually find a job um, so that I could work, you know what I mean, steadily, I guess, for the next couple of months. Um, I don't know that I'm going to stay there. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen on that at front. Um, but, yeah, for now, it's, it's going to work. I'm hoping that I can at least keep it for a few months, and then... After that, I'll probably either try and find something else or I'll go back to Temping or we'll see. I don't know when EF's done. Um, there's a particular doctor that I want to work for. If he doesn't hire me as an EF, I would just work for him as an assistant and then do my own thing. And I think he's going to help with that. So we'll just see what happens. <laughs> I don't really know on that front yet. Um, but that's my plan. Uh... Yeah, I'm staying with a friend currently, and it's it's okay. He has a lot of kids, and when things get a little bit noisy, I kind of have to back off a little bit because I just, I, it's too much. But other than that, I mean, what else can you really do? I don't know. Um, we did manage to save, again, a lot of stuff, and I don't... Uh, I don't even know how to put it into words like how thankful and grateful I am at this point. But, yeah. All I'm going to say is I'm over 2020. I don't know that next year is going to be any better. But, you know what? I'm just going to keep chugging at it and keep going for it and hope that in the end, I mean, things will work out. It's just a matter of, you know what I mean, pushing yourself. And I feel like maybe I did need this good kick in the teeth just to get ahead so that's all I have to say <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all doing fabulous and there will be some oh by, by the way right now we did actually cancel all of our project pans because I don't know at the moment what I have and what I don't have and what's saved what's not saved we did manage to save a lot of my beauty and makeup stuff um, but everything's all mixed together and I just, I don't have time for it at the moment. If I do anything, I'll probably just start a new project pan and kind of hope for the best. I have pulled out some items that I'm like, I want to try to use up by the end of the year. And I really, I realized too that there's a lot of things that I'm like, okay, I love project panning, but I also want to use some of my newer stuff. So I've pulled out some new stuff and some old stuff and it's just, it's been that kind of a, a journey at the moment so I'll go over that later after I figure out what the heck I'm doing and that's pretty much it for this video I love you guys and I will talk to you soon I'm wearing my Disneyland 2018 shirt that I love because that's when I started working for Disney <sighs> yeah it's gonna be a long road it's gonna be a long journey and um, again I, I I can't even tell you how grateful I am for everything. You guys are awesome. I love you guys very, very much. Thanks for being here. Woo! Thanks for being here and watching my video. I don't have a computer right now, so yeah, that got washed. We did actually find it, but it was completely soaked from head to toe and it does not turn on. And so I'm probably gonna end up getting a new computer, hopefully. And that should be not too far away. I do want to wait for the new Mac Air to come out. so Or the new MacBook or whatever it is. I don't know if it's going to be an Air or not. But 
Um, yeah. But we're going to wait for the new one. So, that's all. So, for now, you just have to deal with my phone. Alright, I love you guys. I will talk to you later. And good luck to everybody. Remember to stay strong because if I can make it through all this shit, you can definitely make it through whatever you're going through. And remember that, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's just a matter of making it through today. So, there you go. Hold tight and stay safe, guys. It's super dangerous out there with COVID. And even though everybody seems to think it's over, it is not over. It's far from over. And I hope you voted. Even if you didn't, just remember that you do have a voice in everything in this country. That's part of what makes America free is the fact that we have the power, you know? We have freedom of speech. We have everything. So... Yeah, take your stand and that's all. All right, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.